Hi everyone. Today I'll be doing a commentary on Foxy the Fox 110's rant on her database. And trust me, this video will make you want to punch your computer screen from how unbelievably stupid and ridiculous she is. So grab your popcorn, get comfortable, and prepare to witness her latest and most delusional meltdown about the people who call her out on her bullshit. What's up? It's me, Foxy the Fox 110. And welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about my toxic hate them. Anyways, this video is not a rant. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when I made a video like this on my old channel back in 2022, some of my toxic haters claimed this video was a rant when it wasn't. Because I was just talking about my toxic hate them. And that's not even a rant. That's just, that's just, that's just me talking about my toxic hate them. It's basically the same thing. Sorry about that. Messed up my was it first. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Okay, first of all, one of my worst haters, I mean one of the worst, I mean one of the worst, I mean one of the worst users who, who's a part of my toxic hate them is White Cloud Sky Days, aka Dry Cart. One of the worst things he ever has ever done to me actually happened today. He manipulated Meow Sass to hate me. Like, seriously, you should know that manipulating someone to hate someone is not okay. Um, have you ever heard of the concepts of free will or choice? Like, that dry cart guy didn't make one of your fans hate you, your fan chose to hate you on their own. And now you're gonna shift the blame onto him just because he convinced one of your fans to hate you? How fragile can you get? This proves you're a fucked up person. And not only that, he has been slim no I mean not only that, White Cloud's Good Days, aka Dry Cart has been slending me as a pedophile. Like seriously, I'm not a pedophile and my other haters and some of my other toxic haters, like Wow Wow Lulu, for example, has been slending me as a pedophile. Like seriously, I'm not a pedophile and I never will be. Foxy, come on. Stop playing the victim and just admit it already. The evidence of you shipping a grown-ass man with a minor is in our hands and proves that you have the potential to not only defend pedophilia, but also encouraging it. This is honestly fucked up. And I'm basically getting slandered as a pedophile over a mistake. Like seriously, how stupid is that getting sl slandered as a pedophile over a mistake? A mistake is when you accidentally spill coffee on someone or drop your phone from a high height or something like that. This however, was no accident. It was something illegal and immoral. You're an adult who literally planned to ship a grown man with a minor and then you try to play the victim, when people are rightfully creeped out by this and start calling you all kinds of things. Saying that. It was just a mistake isn't gonna make the problem go away, so find a better excuse next time bud. And I'm getting falsely accused of saving CP as well, like I never save CP. What the heck is the matter with these people? Um, yes you did, Foxy. We have the whole convo in our hands. These people honestly don't have lives. You can tell that, and you can tell that, I mean you can tell, sorry about that, they mess my words, so I'm gonna try again um, with what I'm saying. You can honestly tell that they have no lives by the way they treat me and slander me. Nobody with an actual life but slander someone. Or treat someone this badly. Well, excuse me, but I would argue that people who have a life still criticize and call out others who are wrong and deserve it. So, if anyone here doesn't have a life, it's you, due to the fact that you keep trying to justify your shitty actions by pretending to be innocent and making up excuses, as opposed to reflecting on your actions and trying to be a better person for once. So look at the mirror next time, before you start pointing fingers.
Like, if you see anybody claiming I'm a pedophile, don't listen to them because they'll obviously slander me. Now you're just manipulating your fans into blindly following you and defending you no matter what? Maybe the reason why people call you a pedo is because you literally planned to ship an adult and a minor together. Also, your fans aren't stupid, even if you pretend to think they are. They make decisions based on evidence and facts, so, if they decide to leave you over all this, it's not because of slander, but because of your own actions. And not to mention, two of toxic users who probably hate them gave me a copyright strike. One of them gave me two copyright strikes, but thank goodness that user got terminated for abusing the copyright complaint system. Which is chicken thugget. And also, Leah, also known as Leah the copyright complaint system abuser, she keeps lying about ignoring me. Like, seriously, if you're gonna ignore somebody, you shouldn't lie about it. Well, if you don't want people to lie about ignoring you, then don't be a dick and give them a legitimate reason to ignore you and remove you from their life. And then not only did I get slandered as a pedophile, I also get slandered for abusing my dogs. Like, seriously. I would never abuse my dogs. Like, I love them so much. I would never abuse them. Yes, you did. You abused your dogs and pets all the time. You hit them when they don't obey your commands. You never feed them. You never let them out of their cages. And you neglect them. In fact, I'm against dog abuse and animal abuse in general. Animal abuse is a horrible thing. And I'm strongly against it. Same thing with paraphilia. I'm strongly against paraphilia. I would never co commit fear for you. I mean, I'll never commit paraphilia in my life, my entire life. But didn't you say pedophiles can be forgiven back then? Because I hate paraphilia. It's honestly disgusting as fuck. Anyways, let's see. If, is there anything else I need to talk about for this video? But yeah, there's one more thing I want to talk about for this video. Not to mention that a lot of my toxic haters who pop my toxic hate them can't handle opinions of the users who like me. And support me, like, seriously. People have the right to like me and support me if they want to. Because it's their choice, not yours. Yeah, I'd like to see you say that when one of your supporters is a complete pedophile, incestuous freak, abusive parent, or any other immoral person out there. I mean, seriously, stop complaining about people that don't like you. Like, seriously, they seriously need to grow the fuck up and stop being immature. And handle up and stop being immature and handle opinions on me. Like, seriously. And Drake and Shadow is one, another one of the worst people who is part of my hate them because he is basically obsessed with me. And Wow Lulu, Wow Lulu is obsessed with me as well. He just denies it. Don't be a hypocrite. You can't just call out those people for being obsessed with you when yet you don't realize that you're the most obsessed one here. You cry and complain every time someone doesn't worship you or blindly supports you, and then, when they leave, you act like they are the ones who are obsessed with you. Because Jay and Shadow slung this me as a pedophile as well. And you can't handle opinions of the people who like me, and trust me or neutral to me. Stop pinning the blame onto people when you're the one who did this to yourself by doing some disgusting things.
it's your own fault this is happening to you, so stop acting like anyone who criticizes you is just a hater and actually own up to your mistakes. Now anyways, that's the end of the video, and hope you guys enjoyed it, until you guys know, I might do a part 2, but I don't know, yet. Yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Foxy the Fox, 110, out.